Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about another data structure that's really useful for interviewing, uh, which is D-E-Q-U-E. -E. Uh, it's pronounced DEC. Uh, actually, it's <laughs> it's pretty good for implementing D-E-C-Ks in, um, you know, if you're doing like a card game or something. But um, yeah, we're going to be using it to show how you can implement both a queue and a stack with it. Uh, and without further ado, let's jump into that. Okay, so, oh, I'm in the wrong directory here. Uh, let's actually just open up Python. I think we'll be able to show all the things that I want to show today uh, just with the interactive prompt. So the deck class lives in the collections modules and it's collections.deck and you can build one like this. And the deck class um, has kind of four operations that are useful. Uh, it has push and, or append and pop at both the front of the deck and at the end of the deck. Um, and D-E-Q-U-E stands for double-ended queue, uh, which is how it, the underlying data structure is implemented. And so if we have, you know, if we have this deck here, uh, we can also construct a deck with an iterable of things. So let's say we made one that already has things in it. Um, you can do d.pop. Uh, this is actually the same as you would get for a list. So if you had, you know, L equals one, two, three, and did L dot pop. Uh, that works and, you know, leaves you with a list, oops, with a list that has uh, two items in it. And our deck also has that same two items in it. Um, but deck also has pop left, uh, D dot pop left. And both of these are efficient. They're, they're essentially O1. Uh, whereas if you did, you know, remove an item from the beginning of list, it has to shift all those items over uh, from the left-hand side. And so the the list equivalent to pop left would be O N, but for you know for decks it's essentially O one, um, and this allows you to add to implement a you know a queue. So if you had like my queue equals uh, collections dot deck, and you can you know n queue stuff here. So maybe we did my queue dot append one dot append two dot append three. Maybe we're putting some uh, you know, first in, first out work here. Uh, and so if it's first in, first out, the item that we would want to retrieve if we're using one of the pop methods is to get this one. And so if we did pop left, my q dot pop left, that'll give you this item out. And so DEC is a, a, an efficient data class for, or data type for implementing uh, a first in, first out queue. You can also use it as a last in, first out stack, uh, although I find that, you know, if you're going to implement a stack, you might as well just use list since it already does what you want with append and uh, pop. So like if you had a list here, lst equals this, you could do lst.append1, lst.append2, lst.append3. Ignore this comma, I made a typo there. It doesn't actually change anything since it's a trailing comma and a function argument. It's not actually a tuple. Um, and then you could use last in first out by doing pop here. And so that gets you three, two, one. Um, so the last thing you put in is the first thing you get out. You can also do this with decks, um, but I, I don't know why you would <laughs> personally. Um, you can also append to the left if you need to put things onto the onto your queue. So if you did, if you wanted to like put things back onto your queue, like maybe you, maybe you have a peak operation where you look at one item and then you just put it back. Uh, what does our deck look like right now? So you could do d dot append left. Um, you know, then you have your operation here. Uh, so you might implement peak as you know some deck with uh, item equals d dot pop left, and then uh, d dot append left item item, and then return item. So if we did peak on d. You'd see we get four, and the deck remains unchanged. And so you might you might implement a peak operation like this. Uh, what else do I want to show with decks? Oh, another you know another interesting thing about decks is they're iterable, so you can iterate through them without changing them. Uh, so if you did four x in d, you can print x, um, and that will iterate these. They're also reverse iterable, um, and so the the iter the iteration of this is you know. Um, it, it's on because it looks at all the elements, but it doesn't incur any additional work, uh, which we'll show some stuff in a sec that actually does. Uh, but you can also do reversed as well. Reversed D, print 
X, so this allows you to iterate over it in reverse. Um, you can also index into a deck, however, indexing into a deck is generally slow because it has to do that full iteration to get to the spot in the deck to find that item. Um, so if you did like D1, for instance, of course at the ends it's O1, uh, so like D negative 1 is always going to be fast and D0 is always going to be fast. But looking into the middle of one, let's do extend. Oh, <laughs> in addition to uh, append, you can also do extend to add a bunch of items at once. And it just does append on each of these items. It's actually slightly more efficient than that, but you can think of it that way. Um, so if we did like D4 here, which is accessing this item in the middle, uh, it has to iterate from one of the two ends to find that. So it's this indexing is inefficient. Uh, as such, slicing is actually not allowed. So if I went to do a slice here, you'll see I get a type error. Uh, you can work around this if you need like some subsequence of your um, deck by using iter tools. For it, iter tools, and you can use iter tools dot i slice on d, and like say we want the first four items, um, and then you know maybe we make a new deck out of them. Collections dot deck, um, and so you can you know get this from an iterable. Uh, this basically uses this for loop up here, but bounds it by four. Uh, you can also, you know, use other methods and or, or use the other arguments in high slice to do beginning and end and whatever you really need. Um, but yeah, you can build out a new, a, do, a new deck here. And notice that it leaves the old one behind. It doesn't actually modify it. So this is kind of a neat way to slice stuff out of here. Uh, one other useful method that's added to decks that's not in lists is the rotate method. Uh, D.rotate3. And so what this will do is it'll pop three items from the left-hand side and put them onto the end. So it essentially, you know, folds one or n elements over at a time. I believe if you just do rotate with no arguments, it will just do, yeah, it'll just do one item. And this can be useful if you need to implement like a, uh, you know, rotate a deck, insert a bunch of items, rotate it back kind of thing. Um, so if you needed to insert a bunch of items into the middle of your deck, this might be how you would approach that. Uh, is there anything else I want to show about decks? Um, I usually search on Python, uh, the Python docs for deck, if I need to find another method here. Um, but this is the collections. Uh, yeah. Oh, I want to show MaxLand. That's the other thing I want to show. So if you want to make a bounded deck, bounded deck, equals collections.deck. You can set max len to some number. And in this case, bounded deck, uh, if you do append, you know, let's say append one, two, three, uh, this bounded deck is now at its full size. And if we were to append one more item, um, this bounded deck will discard one item. So it, it basically allows you to keep a maximum size queue. Um, this can be useful for some algorithms as well. Like I had a recent algorithm I had to implement where I needed to keep track of the last two items. And so I used a bounded deck of size two and then I didn't have to write a bunch of logic to be like, oh, append to my list. Oh, is my list oversized? I guess I'll remove something or use two variables. Um, but this can be really useful. Uh, what else do we have here? So we did append, append left. Uh, clear and copy are not different from lists. They're just delete all the items or make a copy. Uh, count is the same as list as well. Extend is, uh, we went over extend and extend left. Index, this is the one that's, uh, you know, oh, this is just the same from list as well. Never mind, that one's the same. Insert is tricky. Uh, insert is like list, but again, it incurs a, you know, on overhead because it needs to, you know, essentially index into the middle of the list. We talked about pop and pop left. Uh, oops. Remove is the same as, you know, remove is the same as it was in list. Oh, I didn't talk about reverse. I guess you can reverse a deck in place. Uh, so if we have D here and we do D.reverse, it's going to modify it and reverse the deck. That's kind of useful. I think that's the same as list, though. Uh, rotate we talked about. Uh, max len is what I showed you with the maximum length. Uh, and this gives you some recipes for how to implement some other stuff here. But anyway, that's Dex. Um, I find they're really useful for interviews, so hopefully this will be useful for you as well. Anyway, if you have other things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.